Hello lovely people welcome back to RBR Galeria today we are back with another landscape which we are going to do in watercolor so before that tape your paper and fix the corners very precisely so that the water will not enter the gap and mess your paper and for this landscape i'm using a low color first lemon yellow and then i have added a little bit of yellow ochre and then for the sky i'm using orange the same thing i'm repeating in the bottom also so first in the very foreground it's orange then yellow ochre and then lemon yellow and just blend it and keep on adding layers Uh, so that it will have beautiful shades and then use a tissue paper for the clouds uh, when it is still wet just in the form of small clouds and do the same in the foreground too so this is how it looks so add clouds in the foreground also the shadow of the clouds and then now we are going to make mountains a far off mountains which is made of uh, like i'm mixing here crimson and a little bit of persian blue the more of crimson and less of persian blue and making a very light layer by adding more water so the far off mountains they look very light so add very light shade and gradually keep on adding layers mix in a little bit of pink and persian blue and uh, to get that white very light layer just remove the color by dipping cleaning your brush in water and uh, dabbing it on the tissue paper and remove the color to make the layers and now i have added more blue so that it gets a little bit of darker shade and the mountains they never be very soft so add a little bit of rough edges on the very first layer on all and even or repeat the same thing on all the layers so this is how we are going to make the mountains and to have that light and dark shades uh, remove the color with the tissue paper just as the clouds how we have done for the clouds so keep on using the rough make the rough edges and keep on dabbing and use dark shades light shades and you will have a number of clouds on the small picture so this is going to look something like this and the very near mountains they are going to be very dark in shade and once the mountains are laid done we will be forming the foliage which is very far off and we'll use for the foliage the emerald green to make the emerald green you can just mix light color of dark, deep green and add a little bit of persian blue and you get the emerald green emerald green and for that color add lot of water to get the very light shade and this i have given one layer below the in whatever the gap is left over between the mountains and the land or foreground and now i'm adding a little bit of foliage and even the shadows very immediately so for this i'm taking the very first layer is in very light color which is a mixture of deep green and persian blue and mixing it lot of water to make the darker shades keep on adding the darker colors both you can add both the colors in darks and once you have for the shadows what we do is we'll just drip the drip down the color and use a very dry brush dry flat brush and just swipe it down so that will not have that sharp edges like on the top and there are shadows at the bottom and this is how we do for layers keep on adding layers and for the darker shade as i said mix a little bit of more dark colors and you'll have the dark layers like light to dark layers showing a number of foliage in the background just listen to the music and keep on working i think you can use you can use here like hear your own music and music plays a very important role to keep your minds pleasant and do the work happily so 
so I'm using my uh, very flat uh, like flat brush very dry brush and clean and making the shadows in the water so the foreground is totally of water this is the shadow reflection of the sky and like I'm not making any mountains but the reflection of the sky and the foliage that's it and now after this I'm using acrylic pens which we get in like I'm using Camlin acrylic pens and just adding few dots I have used only two colors over here one is red and one is yellow just add dots on the top and in the shadows add dots and just blend it with your finger just pull them down with the finger and for the very straight line I have used acrylic white marker and then I'm using uh, my uh, number 5 0.5 pigment pen Brusto pigment pen for the layers and giving small branches over the foliage and the same will be repeated in the uh, shadows also so give very uneven direction in very uneven uh, directions the uh, branches and all and you can form some shapes in the foreground under the trees and all so this is how just zoom it and see you can have a clear picture of that And now in the foreground we are going to draw a boat first let us do with a pencil see that every lines are straight and they are forming the boat make a rough picture of that first do the outline and then use 0 0.5 0 0.5 or 0 0.005 for the uh, uh, outline of the boat and then start coloring it so here I have done with this uh, mechanical pencil I have used here which is 0.5 mm and made this boat and next I'm going to use my brusto pen which is 0.2 mm I'm using 0.2 mm and for the straight lines I'm using the scale uh, to make the straight lines and uh, other lines first I'll make all these and then start coloring this you can pause every at every stage and have a look and then do the work if at all you really like this video and you want to make this boat so this is how the boat looks with a few human figures in the center they are very rough like we don't uh, make them very uh, detailing in the human figures just they are far off so just the shape of the human figure the head the body and all that's enough and now we'll start coloring with this so for the very first uh, for coloring it I'm using brown color and I'm just uh, I'm not uh, working on wet on wet it's dry on wet so apply the color and remove the color by dabbing it on the tissue papers to form the shadow of the uh, cloth and give the curve shape on the cloth so that that will give a very good look and then I have added emerald green dark emerald green for the boat and for the shadows again I'm using the same brown color and here I'll be adding n number of layers uh, using emerald uh, brown emerald green and uh, Persian blue brown dark brown to create the shadows of this and I'll be dabbing with the tissue paper also to make the shadows because we don't want the sharp edges to look like we don't want that to be seen with the very sharp edges so just dab on with the tissue papers at places where it is required and make the shadows because shadows and reflections they make a lot of difference in any landscape and all and now working with the uh, I'm working with the very dark blue and adding a little bit of black here to show the depth and all so 
so keep on adding the shadows and let but work on layers don't do at one stretch and with one color keep on adding layers gradually increase the shade of the colors so that you get very good uh, depth in the picture so keep on working like this i hope you like this video and for many more videos you can just visit my channel you have many many uh, works in oil pastels brush pens land, uh, like watercolors you ha even have pencil the basic uh, like how to work with basics in uh, uh, with the pencils the very much basics of pencil shading so you can just if at all you're interested you can just learn from basics i'll be giving only the basics because those are very important and once you are perfect in basics you can do any work very nicely so keep on adding shadows and as i said use tissue paper to show the light and light effect also and finally we'll be working with this correction pen to show the white uh, lay uh, white waves on the water or the ripples on the water to say the ripples on the water yeah so this makes the uh, the picture look complete so i hope you like this video and if you are watching for the first time please do subscribe the channel for many more videos and please comment in the comment section that will be the motivation for me to do many more videos and happy drawing keep on drawing and the final picture is yet to come so please wait until the last once you remove the tape you can see the actual picture how it looks a final look of this and this is how the picture looks hope you all like it thanks for watching please do subscribe the channel thank you